The National Center for Environmental Information, or NCEI, is the nation's scorekeeper in terms of addressing severe weather and climate events in their historical perspective. As part of its responsibility of monitoring and assessing the climate, NCEI tracks and evaluates climate events in the United States and globally that have great economic and societal impacts. One threshold to determine if an event was extraordinary is if it went on to become a billion dollar weather disaster. And 2018 has seen quite a few such events. Given that we are nearing the finish line of the calendar year, I thought that we would take a look back at some of this year's humdingers. January quickly jump-started the list of events for 2018. A significant cold wave at the beginning of the month gripped the eastern U.S. and set the stage for a powerful nor'easter to form. Heavy snow blanketed coastal regions of the northern mid-Atlantic and New England, while other areas received heavy rain on top of frozen waterways, leading to serious ice jams and flooding. Estimated losses topped $1.1 billion. Almost exactly two months later, March kicked off with another powerful nor'easter. Impacts were felt from the North Georgia mountains all the way up the eastern seaboard to Maine. Widespread damage resulted from the fierce combination of strong winds, heavy snow, and substantial coastal erosion. The storm caused upwards of two and a quarter billion dollars in damage. Later in the month, a potent disturbance triggered a severe weather outbreak in the southeast. The system migrated from the southern plains to the east coast, spawning 20 twisters across Alabama and leading to widespread hail damage from Texas to Florida. This system produced an EF3 tornado that destroyed a portion of the town of Jacksonville, Alabama. Damages totaled $1.4 billion. The fourth billion dollar event of the year came in the fourth month. A multi-day severe weather outbreak at the middle of the month led to chaos in a corridor from Arkansas to New Jersey, while high wind and ice accumulation affected northeastern states. Losses eclipsed $1.3 billion and three fatalities were reported. Back-to-back -back severe weather attacks were both billion dollar events in the month of May. An outbreak of high winds and tornadoes from the 1st to the 3rd affected the central and southern states, while a mid-month outbreak hit the northern states. A derecho even formed in West Virginia and Pennsylvania, tracking eastward to Connecticut and Massachusetts, killing five. In early June, huge hailstones pummeled the highly populated Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Golf ball to baseball-sized hail damaged homes, vehicles, and businesses, leading to $1.2 billion in damage. Just days later, baseball-sized hail fell along the front range in Colorado. The large masses of ice caused patches of destruction from Colorado Springs to Denver to Fort Collins. Damages were estimated at $2.1 billion. In mid-September, a long-track, slow-moving hurricane named Florence produced prolific rainfall across the eastern Carolinas. The storm made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane with surge up to 10 feet and winds exceeding 100 miles per hour. Rain amounts of two to three feet were common, causing rivers to exceed their previous record crests. Florence was responsible for 51 deaths and current damage estimates are upwards of $17 billion. An ongoing drought in the southwest and southern plains reached the billion dollar mark in September. The most extreme dryness continued to persist in the Four Corners, where field crops were destroyed and ranchers were forced to sell off livestock due to high feeding costs. The 11th confirmed billion dollar disaster of the year is the series of wildfires from June through September in the western U.S., centered on California. At least 1,500 structures were destroyed and 7.7 .7 million acres charred, well above the annual average of 5.9 million acres. When all is said and done, 2018 is expected to finish with 13 billion dollar disasters. Information is still being gathered and quality controlled on Major Hurricane Michael in October, which will be the 12th and the second round of California fires in October and November, which will be number 13. NCEI has been keeping track of these events dating back to 1980, so a 39-year period of record. Since that time, these high-profile events most frequently affect the traditional geographic areas with a high risk of severe thunderstorms, as well as states with a risk of hurricane impact from the Gulf Coast up to the Middle Atlantic seaboard. Now, the long-term average for cumulative billion-dollar weather events in a calendar year is right around six, but recent years have been everything but average. In the period of record, 1987 is the only calendar year in which a billion-dollar weather disaster was avoided. At least one has been tallied in every other year, with at least five events per year since 2003, and at least eight individual events each year since 2011. 
Now, in 2017, there were 16 separate weather events that exceeded $1 billion in losses across the U.S., tying 2011 for the record. But even more mind-boggling than the frequency of these events was the total cumulative cost, surpassing $300 billion in the calendar year and good enough for a United States annual record. The 13 separate events that will go in the books for 2018 will once again be far above normal and consistent with recent trends. However, it will also be the lowest number of billion-dollar weather disasters in a year since 2015. Stay there. We'll be right back.